Now let's get into the world of business. My name is Betty Kiptum. Parliament has adopted the 4.2 trillion shillings 2024-2025 fiscal year budget report tabled in the House today. In the expenditure plan tabled by the Chair of the Budget and Appropriations Committee in Dindinoro, agriculture, infrastructure and security sectors will be the biggest beneficiaries receiving an enhanced allocation. Members of Parliament have raised concerns with the 2.9 billion shilling revenue targets, saying if the collection by the Kenya Revenue Authority is missed, it will affect service delivery. The legislators have welcomed the move by Treasury to prioritize completion of ongoing road projects, channel funds towards the fertilizer subsidy, confirmation of junior secondary school teachers, hiring of 20,000 interns, and the enhanced allocation of an extra 8.8 .8 billion shillings towards the National Government Constituency Development Fund. We have enhanced the education budget, and especially TSC budget specifically, by 26.3 billion shillings, Honorable Speaker. And out of the resolution of this House, all our JESS interns, who are 26,000 in number, are going to be confirmed through B this BPS to permanent and pensionable. But as we loud Treasury in this endeavor, we should also ask ourselves, Honorable Speaker, if the overprojection of revenue collection by Treasury will hinder the implementation of this budget. Taxation is so high, making the cost of living almost impossible for our people. We need some innovative ways of making sure the revenue collection that is collected does not hurt Kenyans. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the hiring of 20,000 interns, and especially the confirmation of those ones who are already interns, will come as a big relief. That the ICT departmental states um, have not been properly funded. Honorable Speaker, the digital superhighway is as important as the roads infrastructure in this country. We must come up with a solution that will help the executive to understand, Mr. Speaker, that it is time to pay Kenyans who supplied to us government, who went and took loans, and right now some of them are just collapsing. We must be fair to each other in the allocation of national resources. 